everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am going into boston with my family and we're going to the boat show which will be really cool and then we're gonna grab lunch and hang out a little bit and so i thought i'd take you along for my day i woke up about at seven and i just went for like an incline walk on the treadmill for my workout i'm gonna rinse off and get dressed and then i'll update you i think we're leaving in about an hour I just finished making my bed and I got this linen and laundry spray yesterday at Home Goods and it smells really good. It's like lavender kind of and so I've just been using it to spray my sheets to make them smell fresh. So I'm just gonna get ready. I washed my face when I rinsed off in the shower. And I like to start with these facial radiance pads. I think it's like a toner type thing. And I like it, it just makes my skin feel really clean. And then I've also been using like pretty simple products because I noticed it makes me break out more if I use like more intense products. So I switched to for like my exfoliator and cleanser the CeraVe and then I also just use their lotion for my face and my whole body honestly and it's like simple and it works the best honestly and I used to spend like a lot of money on different skincares and I feel like the more like crazy ingredients the worse it would make my skin and then but one thing I do really like though just for my under eyes is this Olay Hendrickson Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream and I like it because it just like brightens up under my eye and I don't really get acne or anything there it's usually just like right here so I like this a lot this is like my third jar of it and I have to wake up early for teaching so it's good because it makes me look more awake And then I also started using the Ordinary Lash Serum. I haven't used it for that long, so I haven't noticed any results really yet. I've just been doing it every morning and night. But if I notice anything, I'll update you guys because if it works, it's only like nine bucks compared to some of the other lash serums out there. And I've tried one at Target once and it like made my eyes swell. <laughs> so I got like really nervous, but that, this one doesn't do that to me. And then for my lips, I just use the Laneige. This is the chocolate one, the mint chocolate. And then I just brush out my eyebrows. I don't really wear that much makeup unless I'm like going out anymore. I just like hate the way it feels. I don't know why, but the extent to it is wearing eyebrow gel. Sometimes I'll put on a little bronzer. I actually do want to find a blush because I already have like rosiness, but I like to put over here so it looks more sun-kissed and bring it up. So I've been seeing that a lot on TikTok. So if we're near Sephora, I might go in and look for one. I want it to be like a cream or um, what's it called? Cream or like solid blush that you could just use the stick to put on. So I tried the legging curls last night and didn't really turn out the way I was seeing on TikTok. I don't know if I did it wrong, but when I brush it out, it's not bad. I really don't want to put heat. I, like my number one thing right now is like taking care of my hair. I've been using, I used to use Olaplex for like two years and I just switched to the K18 and I really like it. I think my hair kind of got used to Olaplex, so it wasn't really helping, but the K18 is and like my hair I feel is just so much thicker than it used to be and 
Yeah, so for my hair, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I wanna put it up because it's probably gonna be windy because the expo's in Seaport and then we're gonna be walking around after. So I think I'll just do a braid or something. So for Christmas, I got the shark flex style and I really like it. I'm gonna just use the brush tool, the flat one, to just kind of straighten it out a little bit before I put it in a clip. This is how it turns out when I use that. It's not like perfectly straight, but it does the job. And I feel like it's better than using a straightener and it's a lot quicker. Like that only took me three minutes where if I straightened my hair, it probably would have taken like 15 to 20 minutes. So I definitely like it and it's quick and easy and it doesn't damage your hair as much, which is really good. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll update you when we're leaving. I just got dressed. I'm wearing this long sleeve active shirt. It has like a little hole in, for your thumb, which I like from actually Old Navy. I have my Lululemon yoga pants with this Zara black vest and my hookahs, which I really love because we're going to be walking around a lot and everything. And then I'm going to just bring my one of my tote bags, which is I'm going to bring my Harry Potter New York one. I love it. And it was actually only $8 at the Harry Potter store, so definitely recommend going and checking it out. I just ate breakfast. I had overnight oats with strawberries, and it was actually my first time making it. It was really good, but we're heading to the car now and heading up to Boston. I'll keep you updated. We just got back from the boat show it was really cool they had so many different boats um the exhibit was huge they had a bunch of different vendors and they had a lot of boats in different price ranges which was really cool and i tried to take as many clips as i could and some of them had like cabins inside which we really liked looking at those and one day hopefully i can get a boat like that but um yeah we really enjoyed it we stopped for lunch on the way back which was good and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed my day and coming along with me. If you like this vlog or like to see more vlogs like this, please be sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.